I'm Dan Galusha and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plank. And here recently we did a short that we were talking about the Throw Club Soaring Sword. And I told you at that time that we were going to be doing a full review on this. Uh, to talk about the size and what have you and do some throwing while we're at it. And for those of you that didn't see it, this is the case that it comes in. It comes in a set of three knives. I think right now they get them for like... 33 something and right around that and the price on Amazon and uh, They're not a bad knife really Pull one of these out of here. The one thing that I have found already though is on this case This is a nice case. I really like it But the front knife fits separate each one has its own pocket That's good, but the front one is actually stuck So you got to mess around to get that out. So something needs to be done about that anyway I don't feel that these are necessarily a no-spin knife. The knife is 10 inches long and it weighs around seven ounces. And as you know, I always like a one-on-one. -on -one. In other words, uh, if it's 10 inches, I kind of like to see nine to 10 ounces on that. But uh, it's seven ounces, so you know we're gonna go with it. Seems good, seems like a good weight. It's uh, nice and balanced right in here, right in the handle area. And it, because you can flip it even it very, very easily with it. And if a knife isn't balanced right, you go to flip it, you can't really catch them like that. But anyway, we're going to do some throwing with this. I think it's going to be a good half spin. I've already done some half spins. In fact, on that short, we threw it half spin. Um, and uh, full spin, yeah, I've done a little bit of full spin with it. Doesn't seem too bad. I have to use this right here. That gives me the indication of where I want to throw it at a full spin. I've done some underhand throwing too with it. It's all worked pretty good and we're going to be doing more of that. But as I said, no spin, well, I'll show you what I mean. A no spin knife, for those of you who don't know, is usually something like this. And this is also a throw club knife, by the way. See how straight and the heavy tang on the thing? And you can put your finger in different ways. If you want to use it for a spring throw, you can do it like that. You can do it here, you can choke up with it. Very, very easy to do all of that that you would be doing with no spin throwing. Well, this knife, as you can tell, it, I'm gonna get rid of this. This knife does not have that because it does have this. But again, that's the way knives are made. Some are good for half spin, some are good for full spin, some are good for all that sort of stuff in one package, and some are good for basically just uh, no spin but we're going to give this a shot see what happens and let's start out with no spin just for the heck okay, of we're going to start out with no spin and i'm a little bit closer on this because I, it just is not going to be a distance no spin that's all there is to it and i'm going to use this notch because that's about all i can do with my finger if i put it up here and i've already tried that if i put my finger up here it gives it too much down pressure and the thing spins it just doesn't work right so we're going to try it right here. Okay, that worked, and I was actually pushing that. I'll show you what I mean. I was pushing that with my finger like that when I was putting it in. Now let's try a half spin with it, and uh, I'll get out the others. Um, this one's going to be easy to get out. That other one, like I said, is caught. It really is caught. You can see it. <laughs> that's how caught it is. So they do have to go back to the drawing board in that first part of their case. Now, here we go. We're going to do some half spins, and I think, really, from here, I think we need to kind of choke it up or down, clear down here towards the tip. Yeah, just like that. So that's where we're going, is clear down to here. And they all stuck. Now let's take a look at the penetration. When we did that short, it really penetrated. Okay, here's two of them together. So that you can see the penetration. On the half spin, they went down to there, right to where my finger is, because I put it up against it. So that's not too bad, really. Uh, now let's go back and do some full spin. And we're going to do that from uh, 
The competition distance of around 13. Feet. We're going to try full spin from a couple of different distances. Uh, first, we're going to do 10 feet. And by doing that, I'm going to put my hand way down here like this on the handle, almost on the end of it. And that worked. Now I'm going to bring my hand up to here and see how this works from the 13 foot area. I'll hit the other knife. And then it's stuck. We'll get all three of them and use them back here. Now I'll show you a little bit better as to what I did with this. You can see it right here. I'm going to have this finger clear up here like this. That's how I got a hold of it. Up here and here. It makes it a little tough, but you can throw it like that. A little low, and that's the one thing about having it like that. You're catching onto your hand. But... That one was a bullseye. I do notice, even though it's catching like that, it seems like you have a little bit of better accuracy with it by holding it that way. The next thing we're going to do is a multi-spin from uh, five meters. So let me get back there. First, got to get those knives. And by the way, let's see what we got on penetration from this distance on a didn't full spin. Pull all three knives, but this is the penetration that we got up there on that full spin. This was the one that was just below the bullseye because the bullseye. I was, I think I kind of clicked it a little bit if I remember right. And uh, so that penetration might not have been as good, but that's not too bad from that distance. Like I said, our next step is going back to five meters and then we're gonna be throwing it like this for a multi-spin. Now we're gonna go for the multi-spin and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the point just about right here. That's not too bad. Close to bullseye area. That one's a little off. Yeah, well they all stuck anyway, as you can see. And uh, didn't do too bad. You know, just for the heck of it, let's go up and uh, see what we can do with an underhand. Okay, we're going to do an underhand just for the heck of it. This is a no spin. I'm going to lay it like this on my hand. And uh, I'm just going to underhand it. There. Now that's a no spin. But just for the heck of it, why don't we try a half spin with my non throwing arm underhand? Yep, it worked. So uh, both ways work. The overhead no spin, though, you can tell that was a real problem. And of course, the overhead half spin, that's not really too bad, as you can see. And uh, this didn't have as much penetration. That was the one that I threw underhand like this, but it did work, so what the heck. It looks like the different throws are working. You just have to, this knife is different because of this handle. You have to gauge yourself just a little bit different. It is balanced, as we said, um, and maybe if it was a little heavier, it'd be easier. I really don't know, but otherwise, it's, it's been working pretty doggone good. Went back up and got them, and I wanted to see how the uh, the actual penetration was. It shows you with that one. They weren't too bad. I had to do a little bit of wiggling uh, in order to do it. So, uh, yeah, not bad at all. They are, there is definitely a difference, though. I do see this. Take a look at this. Take a look at these three knives. Now, there's another thing that might be throwing us off. If you can see what I mean... Look at these two, and then look at the center one. Look at the tangs on those. This tang is much narrower. The one in the middle is much narrower than the ones on the outside. Now, that would throw you off on, uh, in fact, I bet that one even weighs less. The handle, no, but the blade, definitely. They're different. Uh, they'd even be hard to throw otherwise. Be something different. But otherwise, these knives aren't too bad. Again, this is the Throw Club um, Soaring Sword. <laughs> kind of a tongue twister in a way, but uh, it works. So until next time, shoot safe, throw safe in this situation, and have a great day of planking. All three, two bullseyes.